State University of Applied Sciences and MSF Japan have partnered up to create the first 3D printed UAV drone to recreate maps in forgotten places for missingmaps.org. We've been working on this project for the past few months. We are nearly finished, but there's only one thing holding us back. We need to raise 1,000 euro by the 13th of April in order to have a full and working prototype for our end of year presentation. We really need your support to make this dream come true. We are offering awesome rewards to all backers, so please, please check out the video and check out our Kickstarter and find out what we are about. By 3D printing, we are able to keep costs down and provide you with a cheap and versatile drone. The overall price of materials, electronics, and printing is valued at 530 euros, which is incredibly cheap compared to other drones on the market. Due to the drone being 3D printed, the main benefit and what makes this project so much different from other drones is that you can replace parts on the spot without replacing the entire frame and you need no tools to do so. This ensures a level of user friendliness uh, which enables the user to perform these repairs in the field so no more waiting for parts to be delivered. By providing a digital and printed booklet available on our expo and our social media platforms, we want you to have a frictionless experience when assembling your drone. What we suggest is the usage of new and powerful material produced by Colorfab. It is called NGEN, which is a breakthrough in 3D printing filaments, one that enables users to create packs that are gorgeous in detail by offering long-term sustainability. We are conscious that Locus presents the present and the past one. Most filaments are made from plastic such as POA, PETG, Angin, XT and all of these are recyclable. Therefore you can make your own filament by just recycling your old 3D prints. In front of me we have one of our 3D printed drones. From this we could see that the material we used was just was not strong enough and was slightly too heavy. But we have switched over to this material now. It is much much lighter, stronger and it leaves a nicer finish which glides through the air much easier. Even if your purpose is to benefit your business, Locus is still comfortable for farming, mapping, city planning, forestry, agriculture and mining. Uh, with the open source aspect, we help you in situations like calibrating your 3D printer, calibrating files for different printers, showing assemblies and redirecting users in the right direction. Other information from 3D printers and buying the right parts towards the coding and tuning the whole mapping process we help you with. Offer guidance and extra support for when users are asking for it, we will be there to help you. So our main supplier is Hobby King, they are based in China. Now that being said, it might take some time for the components to be delivered uh, for the assembly of the drone. So what I recommend is that you order all the parts before you start printing. The companion list is available in the description for the latest version of Locus. This is the mechanic side of Locus and we can't wait to see you next time. <laughs> Alright, okay guys, this is the team behind Locus. We've worked so, so hard on this project and we really, really appreciate it. If you just check out our Kickstarter and back us, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.